What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies Heroes and there's a brand new card today in Early Access. Uh, it is called the Frankenchoir. It costs five, it's a five five, it's a Gargantuar monster zombie and it gets plus one plus one when a zombie is destroyed. Um, so that's kind of an interesting thing. Um, I kind of wish it gave all Gargantuars that power, but it doesn't, so it's just going to have to go off of other Gargantuar synergies. Um, if you take a look in the store, there's also another, um, another, another, uh, uh card available. It's the Lawn of Doom bundle. Gives you the, uh, the, uh, the, the Witch Hazel right here. And so, um, I'm going to showcase the Witch Hazel, which is a flower plant, next episode. And so, uh, we'll get to see that. So... But this episode, since there is a, an early access event, uh, there is a, uh, a Franklin, Franklin Chouar showcase. <laughs> We're going to play it. Here we go. Professor Brainstorm. This could be a little bit challenging. We'll see what happens. Oh, my goodness. With Professor Brainstorm's Fast and Furious strategy deck, you'll have lots uh, spare. You'll have lots spare zombie limbs to construct some extra huge Franklin Chouars. Franken Chouars, <laughs> including some imposters borrowed from the sneaky class. Okay, interesting. So, you're gonna go and give me a few extra things, but let's see what happens here. Um, so, maybe stuff will die, hopefully, maybe cool, right? Oh, uh, whatever. Really? All right, sure. Um, not quite positive what needs to happen here, but okay. Get ready for it. All right, these guys are gonna grow, but it doesn't really matter if they grow because I'm gonna take them out. So this guy, he's gonna be an 8-8. Eight, eight, so he's just barely gonna survive this. Too bad he doesn't have like frenzy or something, right? So check that out. So he got he got a boost right there. Awesome. Gotta protect him for next round though, I guess. Now see if I had uh, the Valkyrie in the deck, that would have been amazing, uh, but I didn't. So that's okay. Um, again, I'm gonna try to figure out what needs to happen, but I'm gonna go ahead and put down this guy Might end up using a uh, final mission Man, yeah, okay, sure Here we go Dang it oh, Great, um, so yeah, he's gonna die probably uh, But maybe yeah, I, I, even if he doesn't die Jeez Louise. No, actually this will work. This will work. I'll use this final mission on uh, him four damage to a plant this guy gets destroyed it now becomes a nine three right and he'll survive a two a two attack Jeez Louise, I don't know why I'm keeping this guy so alive though All right, let's do what we got to do um, Jeez again, I don't know what they're gonna try to do This looks about okay All right, let's just, I, I don't know what's gonna happen here. We'll find out. Yeah, that's tough, isn't it? Darn it. Uh, yeah, so he's not gonna be much better. He's gonna die this time, probably. So let me just put this out here, why not? So I did not keep him alive. I was kind of wanting to. So yeah, he's gone, he's gone. Rats. That's okay. So an interesting thing that I saw in this deck is that this each player draws an extra card each turn and then this thing does damage uh, when they draw as a card. So we're gonna do both of those right now. I have a kind of a loaded deck, which is fine. Let's see what he plays. Nightcap, that is. Let's see what Nightcap plays. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take out my two weaklings here. Which is great for the Valkyrie. I'm gonna do two a damage because he's gonna draw extra cards. This is really interesting, by the way. Now, he may not have many cards to work with, so even if I do play some of this stuff, it may not really have the effect that I want. But I don't mind drawing extra cards. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this guy here. Let's put the pot of gold guy here. He has a lot of cards to choose from. I don't think forcing him to draw cards will necessarily work. I don't know 
if he has that much room, I wish it would. Uh, uh, well, I guess he just manually count. Let's see. Uh, three damage to you. Come on. Well, uh, I could try. Actually, you know what? I'm going to teleport someone in. There we go. And it's going to be you. There we go. That's a good strategy right there. Nice. This is great. My Valkyrie is so crazy awesome right now. So here we go. You're going to draw an extra card. And he's going to attack again. It's 19 to 10. I think it makes sense to play this. And maybe I'll play this as well. You just use all this low cost stuff. Save my cards for, you know, when I need them. This is going to make my Valkyrie even more powerful if I get the chance to do it. Come on, decide, Nightcap. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. So that's interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, try to knock one of these guys out. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll go ahead and draw some cards myself. And then I'm going to do a bonus attack with you. Fantastic. That's going to be five damage. And then, uh, yeah, he's going to hit him and then do two damp. No, there we go. Nice. So he's going to uh, draw extra cards as, as well. Again, I don't know how much room he needs. Um, I could definitely try this. I don't know that it's going to do what I want. Is it, he may not be able to draw extra cards, but we'll see. I got two extra cards. He didn't get any extra cards. So yeah, we both are really flush with cards right now. Let's just see what happens, right? I can't really punish him the way that I want to. Oh, great. That's fine. Oh, no, it's not. It's, no, he's going to... Oh, my God. He's going to clean this all out. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Help me. All right, so I need to just do a uh, bonus attack with this guy. This is <laughs> All right, great, great. That's a victory for me. Challenge complete. Now I want to get into showcasing some decks that I've made with the freaking Chuar. That was great. That was, uh, that was absolutely wonderful right there. Oh, nice, nice. Got some new gems as well. So the decks that I made, there he is. Uh, challenge complete. Go ahead and uh, pick him up in the store if you would like. Uh, he's available for early access. Now, for the decks I made, you know, we're looking at the crazy class here for him. So I looked at, um, well, I looked at the Z Mech, and there is a, uh, is it the Feast for Beasts that I used. Yeah, this had a lot of gargantuars in it. So what I did is I took out three of the uh, hippity hop gargantuars and one of the imp throwing gargantuars. And I ended up, I think, putting in three. Uh, when I made a Frank for Beasts, and I put in, no, I think I put in four. Hold on. I, I didn't mean to just, okay. Sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to just select it. I meant to inspect it, so edit it. So, yeah, I have four of these. One, one, four, two. I think this is good. Uh, I hope it is, at least. And, uh, you know, if anyone dies on my side, I don't know who's going to die. The main reason I have them here is for synergy. Um, now, if we're looking at uh, this, you know, the Fast and Furious, this one, uh, I expect someone to, uh, some people here to probably die. Make room uh, for more and also buff the Franklin Schwar as well. Uh, what I did is I took this deck and I took out a, 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 like the Viking dude and I made the Franklin Furious and I ended up having only three of him in there. I don't know if I'll be able to play. I, maybe. And then I made my own deck. Um, this, you know, this is kind of the start of making a deck. I haven't really done any thorough investigation of it. Usually what I do when I start a deck is I just put four of all, my, all the ones I want in it, you know, and if I have too many, then I whittle it down. If not, then I just call it good, and then I kind of play with it and see what kind of changes need to be made. So this is my Frank deck for Electric Boogaloo. Um, it's kind of the same mechanics um, that we saw before a little bit. 
uh, where we want to use this guy when they draw cards, but um, there's not there's not going to be any sort of like forced card drawing on them. I just kind of like him as an ability. Uh, but what I really like is the fact that he has four health and he can defend himself against explosions uh, from the barrel of dead beers and stuff like that. So I have specifically chosen cards that are meant to die. Uh, the uh, haunting zombie is meant to die so I can get a haunting ghost. Uh, this guy, the cyborg zombie, is meant to die so I can get a vengeful cyborg. This guy is meant to die so I can get a Captain Deadbeard, uh, etc. This guy is just meant to die by default because that's how he plays himself. Um, so, uh, it could be really interesting. Uh, this guy is going to put out Gargantuars, uh, which he himself is weak. Kind of kind of maybe meant to die himself. Um, and then uh, the Frankenchuar here. He gets plus one, plus one when a zombie is destroyed. So, we'll see if that works out. Um, I'll showcase this deck later, maybe even take this deck against the computer. Uh, but first, we're going to start by showcasing uh, what we kind of just saw with the uh, Fast and Furious, the Frank and the Furious deck that I made. I'm going to take this into ranked battle, and hopefully we have some fun with it. Here we go. All right, the Frank and the Furious. <laughs> Let's see what we can handle here, right? Uh, this looks like an okay start, except I don't really want him to start with. <laughs> so there we go. That's a better one. I might just draw two cards. Makes sense to me. I'm going to have a lot of extra card advantage right now, I think. But we shall see. Come on. Oh, great. That's fine. I'm going to draw two cards and call it a day. Nice. I'm going to play both of those, I think. So, yeah. There we go. Anytime you draw a card, you're going to get hit for two. We'll see what happens. Bum, 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 ba -da -dum, ba -dum, bum. This guy has four arms. I just realized he has four arms. That's eight arms together right now because there's two guys out there. Interesting. All right. So, what's going to happen here? Come on, do something. Okay, okay. Sure. All right. So, uh, I'm gonna do two damage. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and just save it. Let's see what happens. I don't really know what to expect. Oh, great. That's fine. Boom! Got it. And then I think we're good right now. That's one damage, and again, I'm going to do two more uh, unblocked damage. Because she drew a card. And then I'm gonna play this, because it's cruel. Here we go. Each player draws two more cards, so there you go, there, there's some options for you. But that's gonna be this gonna be four more damage. One. Two. Right? And then um uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. Uh, this strategy is working out pretty well. I haven't even got the chance to play the Frankenchoir, but we can see what can happen. Let's go ahead and, and call it a day. I have a lot of cards. She has a lot of cards. Oh, jeez. Yikes. Yeah, that's going to be a double strike, isn't it? Uh, okay, well, let's do this. Oh, nice choice, right? Destroy a zombie, then do four damage. I'm going to do four damage to this. Wonderful. <laughs> Man, okay, this is great. I might be able to just win it right here. Um, this could I could seriously win this right now, I think. If I play this, and then play this... Each player draws two extra cards. This is going to be, what, six damage? Unblocked damage. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, there's, okay, this is gonna be a victory for me. This has been a great round. I'm not gonna showcase uh, Frankenchoir though. Victory for me. That's gonna be frustrating. My goodness, my goodness. I would like to use that deck to, pl to use the Frankenchoir though, if I can. So maybe I'll try it again. That's a victory, my friends, victory. All right, we're gonna start uh, this deck over again and uh, hopefully we can play some Franken Frankenchoirs. That seems like a good enough variety, right? Well, let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm gonna play... I'm gonna do that. Not sure what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna do that. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> All right, great. Sure. I'm gonna hit him for one. Okay, fair enough. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna wait, maybe I'll do a bonus attack, I don't know. Dang it. Great. Um, well, even if I did the bonus attack, it doesn't matter now. I'm gonna do this. This gives me three random cards. Those are all pretty powerful cards, so here we go. All right, we're fine for now. So, uh, starting us up, I'm gonna do... I think I'm gonna do this, and then uh, this. I think that looks good for me. I, don't, I would not be surprised if that middle plant got boosted somehow, or there's five in the middle lane, or something like that. But we'll see, I'm a little nervous. Ooh, double strike. Ah, dang it. Great, now I'm scared. I should have just saved the trick. Why did I not, but did I have that trick already? I may have, I don't know. It's okay. It's healthy to forgive yourself. This does uh, two damage, yeah. Uh, okay, sure. This. And then this. All right. <laughs> I'm a little worried that, that, that she's gonna have the upper hand on me pretty quick. I should have saved like for the bonus attack or something. I don't even know what I should have done. Watch me get frozen again. Dang it. All right, great. Okie dokie. I don't know if this deck has any environments in it. It might, I don't know. Here we go. I didn't get any sort of super that I was really thrilled about. I got drawn more cards, which is great for me. Here comes the second set. What, oh, see I have too many cards now. That's uh, bad news. I didn't get to block. Great. Great, just great. Not great at all. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna play this guy. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Watch her have like a bounce of gravestone or something, something, something new. Bounce another plant. The click piece, interesting choice. There you go, they're now 3-3. Three, three. I can actually block the 3-3 three, three, though now. All right, cool. Um, so the, the beautiful part is I can now do the bonus attack and there we go. All right, blocked, thank you. There's a random zombie that costs two or less. I don't even know, put it there, sure. Yeah, I just put two cards, perfect. We're gonna be ready for next turn. Goodness gracious. Okay, I don't think they're cards again. Uh, so what do I wanna do? Um, 
I mean, we all are like maxed out on cards right now. You know, I kind of want. Uh, yeah, you know what? This is fine. All right. Now the cool part of this is I have uh, the bungee plumber times two. Oh God. Uh, what's happening here? Who's gonna be frozen? Okay. Okay. So I, I have this. And I have, uh, this. Sure. Then I'll leave room for a bonus attack if I need to have it. All right, great. So she's gonna draw an extra card, probably. Where's my Frankenchoir, though, when I need it, right? All right. Um, again, I don't really know what to do here. This is uh, this is gonna be quite crazy. This is like the, a good card to put here. Let's see what I, let's see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I actually do have some tricks to pull off if I need to. Oh great! No environments though for me, huh? All right, great. Hi. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and draw two cards. This could be interesting. Um, bonus attack. This does four damage. I don't want to do that yet. Here we go. Blocked. Nice, I did damage because she uh, took it. All right, Doctor, we got beeped up a little bit. She's almost within four damage range. Which is kind of exciting. Um, again, I'm not so certain what needs to happen here. Uh, um... Yeah, I guess just give me more, give me as many options as you can. Nope. Yeah. Okay, this is not super good. Oh god. Oh god. Four damage. Oh god. <laughs> Oh goodness. Uh, so this is where this just really needs to happen right now. Uh, I get to I get to do this and do four damage to her and hope that it I'm, I'm able to win with the three. So that's a victory. Man, but where's the Frankenchoir when you need him? I need to showcase this guy. I mean, I showcased him during the, uh, the event, but anyway, that deck is pretty cool right now. Goodness gracious, maybe, maybe, maybe if I just switch decks, you know, I can use that against the computer or something. Let me switch decks. Okay, this is the uh, the Feast for Beast deck that I kind of made that has the Frankenchoir in it. I'm gonna go ahead and keep him in there, uh, just so that I actually can play him this turn. And then win or lose, you know, we'll leave this in. Uh, I would typically shuffle, cycle him out because I don't think I need to start with a five cost card. Uh, but I do want to be sure to play him. So let's play him, huh? How about that?
The other deck to prove to be pretty useful. Lots of options for the other deck. Lots of card draw. But uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to go through a video like where I just don't get the Frankenchoir. You know what I mean? Especially a showcase video. So uh, I might. I might take that deck against the computer. Uh, but I don't know. If he leaves, this would be so funny. Because I said win or lose. <laughs> okay, that's a victory. Let's go in again. And, uh, okay, sure. There we go. We'll try again, right? Nice. And that's how you rank up in Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm against a level 31 person. I'm 28 now. I'll cycle him out. Although that was probably a good cost, uh, considering I had the uh, Gargologist. I'm gonna play him. He might get transformed. I would not be surprised if she transforms him. But the Garg Gargologist will be coming out after that. Ooh. Oof. Oof. Drats. That's okay. Blocked it anyway. I mean, sure. This trick is a uh, three damage. Okay, yeah, that's just gone. Goodbye to you. Interestingly, this is a gargantuar trick, which I like. Don't know what to do right now. I, don't, I can't do anything. And I didn't, you know, when played heal four, I, I won't need that immediately. So again, I, I get a lot of patience is gonna have to happen. This is do three damage. Again, yeah, you know, I don't know. Sure. Oh crap, I did the wrong one. That's okay. <laughs> Made a mistake, it's all right. And again, just another thing, when play, do one damage to a plant, this plant does whatever. Come on, dude, I can't play anything. You would think. All right, let's see what needs to happen. Next turn, I can probably pull off a wannabe hero, unless she has something amazing. Okay, yeah. Understood. He's gonna get moved though. Interesting movement, huh? So again, this, uh, three damage. Might as well do it, right? I should do, yeah, I, yeah, I should. Cause I don't have anything else to do. And I can play that wannabe hero next time, and the only thing standing in front of it is this Colonel. Oh, it's team up. Crap. That's fine. Hey, but. Ah, oh, man, I have this, but I really want to play this, so this is going out first. <laughs> Alright, great. I'll play this, like, next. Yeah, okay. Who knew? Who knew that would happen? It's okay. It's okay. Might block this one, hilariously. All right, let's see if she still has more lawn mowers, because I can play two of these now, which is which is good. Here we go, two of them. You don't have two lawn mowers, do you? Frankenchoir out in full effect. <laughs> Finally got that one, huh? Oh, bounce it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Well, okay, we are doing good. I'm happy with this. You don't have any more sun left, so it's my turn. All right. Again, I need more plants to die. You know, this is healed four. Destroy each plant with two or less. Could be useful. I'm healing you. Sure. Whatever. Who knows? If she plays something in that lane, darn it. Uh, 
uh, again, Z yeah, I don't think it's the right time to do this trick then. Plants here. Oh, he switched it. Oh, yeah, this is a perfect time now to do this. It's gonna be, she's gonna block this one. She's driving a hard bargain, though. Neither one of us are very uh, rich in cards, but again, win or lose, I'll include this round. It's been a fun round. I got to showcase a little bit about how this works, right? She's drawing a card from this, so probably no harm in playing it. Nothing's out right now, but Gargologist makes it all super cheap. I got I almost got the bases loaded, no amphibious, so. Oh, team up right there. That's gonna have double strike. Get ready for it, right? That's pretty. It's pretty big. All right. It is now 14 to five. She's probably gonna block the next move. Uh, I'm now gonna definitely uh, nerf that guy. All right. Okay, destroy zombie on the ground, of course. Blocked, right? No. She's gonna block this next hit. So far, I mean, so good, right? Round 10, though, we gotta watch out for this. Ser I literally don't know what to do. I'm, I'm gonna just be patient with this. I don't know who to give it to. Probably, uh, probably whoever she, whoever that ends up being. Okay, it's a goat. Oh, she's definitely conjuring cards, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. I could try to conjure a card from this. That way I have some, some extra options next turn on what to play. One more hit, she's done for. God, I don't, know, I don't know what to do. I guess it doesn't really matter. I just need to put stuff out here. I should have put something with a little higher attack, honestly. Victory! It's a concession. All right. So what I want to do now... Now that I played some ranked, uh, what I want to do is I want to go into the computer battle. Showcase that deck I've, is kind of a work in progress. Again, the computer is going to be harder in some situations. And then if the deck turns out to be cool, then maybe we, I'll uh, show another deck. I don't know. Let's just go straight to the computer. Win or lose. Uh, we're going to go in. We're going to do zombie missions. I'm going to switch to the deck that I made, uh, which is a electric boogaloo deck, which I just called Frank. Again, so you can see it, this is what we have. So we know. <laughs> Let's just go, random battle. This could be tough, this could be very tough. Again, sometimes I, I seriously do find the computer a little more difficult to play than some other things, so. Here we go, let's just give it our best shot. I don't have the Frankenchoir out yet, or even in my deck yet. That's fine. Okay, so this guy's a good, I think a good opening one because he moves and follows nothing. Okay, sometimes it's not, sometimes it's like way easier than humans as well, by the way. Just so you know. So yeah, this guy's going out right here. He did, may not know what that is. Oh, but he's going to go for it anyway. Nice. I actually do significant damage enough that I can just do uh, three damage and heal. So yeah, I'm gonna start with this. And I'm gonna save that one for that trick to do that damage. This will give uh, a zombie plus two in frenzy. Ooh, plus two de defense in frenzy. Uh, three damage to a plant. Heal your hero. It makes sense. Plus two in frenzy. Sure. Now a three four with frenzy. All right. 
So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. And I'm going to save the final mission for, uh... Well, if I need to use it, I'll, I'll, and I probably can use the final mission on this. I don't know. Oh, great. What? Man, okay. Well, I'm annoyed at that. I'm going to go ahead and do it on this guy. Final mission. Four damage to you. All right, adios. I'm going to get hit for four over here. Great. <laughs> Again, no Frankentoir on the field yet. This guy's going to hopefully block him out. This is going to give me another special. Uh, this is all plants on the ground. Get minus one, minus one. So if he plays anything on the ground... Oh, great. Who's at two? All right. That's fine. Got him. Three and then three. Thirteen to eight. Uh, yeah. I'm going to put this here. And throw this guy out here. Oh, I forgot. The ghost form. The haunting ghost now is amphibious. I forgot about that. And when played, a plane gets minus one and minus one. So that's really been upgraded a lot. Darn it. Well, that's fine. That's a fine position to be in. Oh, great. Never mind. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I guess I'll still use the minus one, minus one, I guess. Come on. I don't see why to use it right now. Let's just use it right now, who cares? All right, I'm gonna give her four, and then one, and then three damage dealt there. It's eight to eight, I'm gonna block my next hit. Uh, yeah, this is great. He's gonna hunt, I guess. But more importantly, I get to save this to heal. Oh, come on! Oh, great. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. So it's 10 to 8. I'm going to block this next hit, which is cool. Like I said, this could get a lot tougher sometimes. It's funny, I don't I didn't even draw the uh the freaking choir yet. Nice. Alright, sure. Let's see how this plays out. Some of this stuff would be great if I had the Franken Tour out, but I don't have it out, so I don't know. Oh come on. Alright, here we go. That was just a pure block, simple as that. So he throws out this. It's a 5-5, five, five, which is, uh, you know, not terrible, but doesn't have any, anything else to throw. He's basically trying not to trigger that 6-1. Great. Um, yes, I'm probably going to get hit by it, obviously. So we just want to be ready for that, right? Absolutely. Here we go. Uh, not blocked. This is sets up the chain reaction here, which actually hurts me. But he blocks that one. Hopefully, he doesn't block this one. That's a victory again without the Frankenchoir, though. So I guess what I'll do is I'll just uh, try to make sure that I have the Frankenchoir in my inventory, just to see how this deck plays out with it. You know, because there's a lot of a lot of my zombies dying uh, in this deck, which is gonna beef up this Frankenchoir as much as I can make it happen, you know? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, these are good. But I want Frank, okay. So I'm just gonna say let's rock. I'm gonna, I'm gonna concede and redo. Uh, concede battle, yes. I hope it doesn't like keep any stats of how many times I've conceded or something. I'm just practicing here. Random battle. Give me a freaking Schwar to start out, and I'll be happy. Come on. 
I mean, again, not, not a bad start overall. It's just for what I'm trying to do, I just really want that Frankenschwar in my opening inventory. And this is why I, I, I've decided to start showcasing um, these decks here, because uh, or these decks against against the computer, because I have this this leeway of being able to really, really choose and not affect my ranking, you know? Uh, come on. Again, come on. <laughs> I don't know how many times this is going to take. And again, even if I have it in my deck, it may not be... Uh, yeah, it thinks I'm like losing like a, mu a bunch, but I'm not. I'm just, I'm just giving up a bunch. There we go. We got two. I just need one, probably. This is a good start. So I'm going to start with this. Uh, I enjoy starting with this card. All right, here he goes. That's fine. I'll take three damage. He'll take one, but his block meter won't be affected. And next turn, he'll take another one. All right, great. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Try to think. <laughs> oh, splash damage. No. Smart, but I hate it. Then I get hit for three again. Great. Not good. Well, hey, I can heal already, which is awesome. Uh, so I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll put this guy here. He'll probably move to wherever he plants next. But then I get to do uh, the nibble. Oh, come on. Fine, I'll do the same thing to you. I don't care. It's basically the same thing. The nibble. And who do I get to choose who I heal or is it heal the, the hero? I'll just do it. Here we go. Heal your hero for two. Alright, so he's gone. It's 16 to 17. Not too bad. So 1 2. It's going to be 16 to 16 now. Alright, great. Amphibious, right? Perfect. Oh, come on! Well, here we go. I'm gonna do this. Uh, and I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna destroy a zombie. And do four damage. I'm gonna do the four damage to the grapes. Simply so that guy can deal one unblocked damage again next turn. And so that he can be on the field. Because he might die again next turn. It's 16 to 13, basically. Now we got these gargantua... These frankenchoirs. Here we go. There we go. One's out. Let's do this. We're going to rock and roll with it. Oh, come on. Fine. Please block this. Thank you. 16 to basically 10 at this point. All right. Again, here we go. This is to destroy a damaged plant. Oh, great. Hi, thank you. We get hit for three. Probably gonna block this one. No, it's five to seven. Well, I guess I could do uh, this. Put this here. This makes sense to me because if I if I have the opportunity to do more damage upon card draw, that'll be two unblocked if if I get lucky. I don't know. I'm a little bit worried about this at the at the moment. Okay, sure. Oh come on! Dang it! Well, I hate this, but okay. I might be lucky and block that three, or I might die right here. No nope, block. Thank you. Uh, do three damage to a plant. Heal your hero for three. Yes. It's now going to be six to four, basically. Okay, sure. Fine. That guy is going to go away, though. You know that, right? Yeah, six to four, basically. And, I mean, I'd rather play the, the trick. I'd rather do this, honestly, than the Frankenstein. I think. All right, here we go. Now I can destroy that 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 bean. Oh, 
god. Oh my god. Um. Well, yeah, it's pretty important to, that both of my guys are gonna die, though. Aren't they? Well, here. Uh, this is actually pretty good. Minus one, minus one. Alright, well, that's where I'm at. I guess it would have been better to play the other one. I didn't realize something so big would come out, but because that way it's eight to one, and I just gotta somehow survive this. It's bad news. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. I'm happy now. Because I can just attack him directly. Oh, what the? Oh, yeah. That's fine. This is great. Goodbye, you. That's a victory. Well, guys, thanks for watching me play Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. Come back next time for some more. I'll see you then. Next up, we get the Witch Hazel to showcase. So we'll get it done. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.